Many of the old timers know it very well. But it's the story of Juan Hill. Juan Hill lived about 1,200 years ago. And he was a Zen practitioner, he was a Zen monk, and he wanted to go to China in order to meet Zen masters in China, because there weren't too many in Korea at the time. And of course, they didn't have airplanes and buses and trains, so he had to walk. So he was walking through the Korean Peninsula up into China, and somewhere on his way, he was in a desert area, and he, um, at, it was dark at night, and he found some kind of oasis, something like that, and he said he'd go to sleep. So he went to sleep, and in the middle of the night, he woke up very thirsty, and there he reached around for water, and he found what felt like a cup, and it was full of water. So he drank the water, was refreshed, made his mouth less dry, put it down, and he went to sleep. He woke up the next morning, and he looked over at what he thought was a cup, and it was a freshly killed animal skull with blood and maggots and, and kind of a lot of meat hanging off the skull. And he took one look at this and he got so disgusted that he had drank this the night before that he vomited. And the way the story goes, at that moment, he attained enlightenment. What did he attain? The night before, he thought this was delicious. The next morning, he looked at it and thought it was disgusting. Delicious, disgusting. Both are created by mind. In that moment, he realized mind created his reality. And he attained that if you have, if you let go of mind, you let go of this reality, then things just are the way they are. 